On today's episode of Moto Cheese. So what's up guys? Everything I do is with a motor, Moto Cheese. So I purchased this. I saw it advertised and I said, oh, that looks like it'd be pretty good. If it works the way it should. It says 2.4 gallon per minute. That's pretty good. With auto stop, takes batteries, and it fits standard fuel tanks. I'll have the link in the description below if you would kindly purchase it through my link. That's my Amazon affiliate program that helps me out. Hurry up and buy! So it says it has three fuel can adapters, auto stop, and it transfers to anything that takes gasolina or diesel, I'd imagine. <laughs> Here's our can adapters and our pump. That's the little sensor that stops it. You're filling up the other container and wire behind it. And the wire runs all the way into there. On off button. And the little siphon tube. It's actually pretty long. That's what she said. And it looks like the pump is at the end of the siphon tube, which is actually a good idea. It makes sense. It comes with a manual. Safety instructions. And a little troubleshooting chart. The siphon tube will fit in an 18, 19 inch deep can. No pun intended. The discharge hose looks like it's a little over 38 inches long. That's not stretched out either, so probably could stretch out to 40 inches. Looks like it takes four AA batteries. Probably not good to run dry, like any kind of fuel pump. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fill up my backup emergency fuel container. I guess that's supposed to hold it there. And I'm going to suck it out of my super old gas container here, my five gallon. And this is 1.3 gallons, totally empty. So let's see how long that takes. So this particular can is going to take the smallest adapter that came in the kit. I wish the output hose was a little bit longer. I can see that right off the bat. I'll put it on a crate because I don't want the siphon effect to work if it does work with a siphon. So let's see if this actually works and how long it takes. Keep my hand on the stop just in case the automatic stop doesn't work. But you can definitely see the fumes coming out of it. And that's it. It shut itself off. That wasn't too bad for time-wise. I don't exactly know what to do with this now. I see no cap because of that. Now, I don't know if this is going to be spill-proof. heard the air escape from somewhere. Make sure to detach the tank from the pump when moving 
and when storing the tank may cause leak of fuel if moved while the tank is attached. So I guess that answers that question. Hmm. Keeping fuel in that line apparently. So as soon as I loosen that, the fuel that was left in the hose flowed back into the tank. Guess we'll store this in its box that it came in. Would have been nice if you could have left it in there, which you probably could, but I think the pressure would push it back out like it looked like it was starting to. So there is a little O-ring there on the filler spout that seals this when you push it all the way in. It does look like that's where the vent is that sucks back into the tank while you're pumping. Now for my thoughts on this. I think it's a pretty neat idea. It did seem to work pretty well, pretty fast. The automatic shutoff worked. It's a little bit pricey at the 60 something dollar price point. I have links below. But I think it's a great idea and I think it'll save a lot of back breaking when you have to hold that gas can in your lawnmower or whatever. Time will tell, but at this point in time, my opinion on this would be, I'd say it's a thumbs up. We'll see. I'll definitely be using it. If anything goes wrong or something I don't like about it, I'll mention it in a future video. If you can find this particular model for less money, buy it. Don't think about it, buy it. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on motoshees.com. Thanks for watching.